So, like, I guess on Koth, um, every time you're Lucio, you're going to be, like, the fastest one to point, basically. Or the fastest one to get position. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my video on, on what a tail is, but basically a tail in any comp is going to be your, like, widest and most alone guy. Uh, and what their comp wants to do... I'll explain their comp because it should be clear what their win condition is. If I explain their win condition, your win condition should be clear. What they want to do is they want to get the sides. You guys have Lucio who cannot fight the sides. Uh, and they have Ball, Tracer, Sombra who are like the most independent like heroes in the game, right? Uh, especially when they're together, they can just like 3v1 anything, right? They they do like a really good job. Like Sombra can just TP back. Tracer's really independent. Ball's really independent, right? So um, right here, like you're going to fight these guys, but you should just be more careful in this. Like, uh, basically, you should know that you should be one v one versus two. If their ball sombra came out this way, it'd be very weird because then they're fighting very linearly. Uh, linearly meaning like they're just gonna W key through, which is not what their comp wants to do. If they want to W key through, they should pick Lucio. They should pick Ryan. They should do uh pick like a rush comp, right? Um, but you guys here, like your win condition one. I think it's the tanks and supports that matter the most, but uh your tanks and supports like you guys are a rush comp right now you guys need to like the win condition is quite simple you guys need to rush them you guys need to find their backline and you guys need to rush them you guys need to make sure that they get, don't get good positions does that make sense uh yeah yeah okay um a problem with your comp right now your guys comps are pretty much always uh like i will i'll just say like suboptimal i think any comp can work and if you guys have like natural hero proficiency that's fine like i don't want to take away from your guys natural hero proficiency if like someone's a hit scan player or whatever but you guys may want to like fit, fit comps around your guys's hero proficiency because right now what's going to happen is these two guys want to stay farther away but these three guys need to put especially the winston and the Lucio, these guys need to push forward. Because if they stand still, they don't do anything. If I was standing still, like, I'm sure Zen is a better hero here. If we're standing still, I'm sure Orisa is a better hero here, you know? Like, uh, so these guys have to move. And the only way they do damage, particularly this guy, and if you're Ryan, it's the same concept. Uh, the only way you do damage is being right in their face, right? So you have to find ways to get right in their face. Otherwise, Ball is like infinitely better than you because he can shoot and then he can like uh, take the side space and he can slam you too. Like he can do everything better than Winston. So Winston's advantage is that he can just like his all-in power is like much stronger and he can do like not just burst damage, he can do continuous damage better than Ball. Um, so here, the problem with your guys' comp right now is that you have Ana and Ana and Ash. And these guys want to sit far back, but the rest of your team wants to move forward. Uh, so you guys are going to end up being the tail. And in this scrim, you guys were even noting in like voice comms, it's like, I'm just constantly dying. And it's because that your comp uh, like doesn't, it's like a mixed match of things. Um, so let me go over this first fight really quick. So first concept is like, it, it's fine that the tracer like wants to fight here, by the way. Um, like I have no problem with her going right side here. It's just you should know that you're gonna get 2v1'd if you're the tracer here. Or like, yeah, you should just be like way more careful, basically. The other thing here is you guys miss uh sorry. I'm gonna speed up, okay, slow down. Uh you guys really need to like set up for dive. So if this tracer is getting 2v1 on this side, what does it mean for this side? Oh, well, there's only four of them there. Right, four. So that means we can push into them uh, a lot of times. And their Zen is showing. What you can do as Winston, it's really important. Uh, you're good when you have like space above you to jump. And then you can body block these doorways. If they go inside here and then you jump here, it's pretty bad for you. Because you can't get away. And then they should just be able to re-push you and then uh, like kill you, basically. So what you want to do... Uh, here is make sure you cut off the doorway. Jump the Zen such that you cut off the doorway, and then you guys just fight them uh, 4v5 here. So, shh, example. I, yeah, speed. Jump here. Maybe Zen and Brig go this way, and then Sigma's left outside, but then you guys just kill the Sigma. You guys can dive the Sigma, because the Zen and Brig will just get bubbled off, and yeah, it'll be very hard. But here, you guys, like, kind of wait, and then you guys go for only backline, when really, like, you guys can... 
jump here. I think you should body block the brig uh, and jump literally on top of the brig and then body block the doorway. And then you guys probably kill brig and you kill sig here, uh, I think, both. Um, and again, it's easier if you guys don't have a tail. This is what I mean by a tail. Like, this is your head, head of your team. This is the tail of your team. Uh, the more you run Lucio comp, like, this tail is going to get exposed. Uh, Tracer obviously just died to, like, hack, and she can be more careful next time. But this Ash will die 100% of the time. Oh, sorry. And let's show the quality of your dive. Sorry. So here, you're going for Zen. What you should do, once the Zen's too far, and, like, you just use jump, so you can't really chase him, like, uh... I was just playing Monkey like earlier today. If you're chasing a Zen and you're doing 60 zap damage and he's shooting you in the face, a good Zen should be able to just kill you every single time. Like, uh, and he'll obviously get like a pack. So right now, you guys should just be like killing what I call is the middle. You jump, you can't reach their backline all the way. You kill the thing in between your Monkey and the rest of your team. So right now, I'm looking for Nade on, on this guy. Yeah, perfect. But no one else was adding damage to the Sigma. And another problem, again, is that you don't actually have a, th a second diver. And second diver, because both your DPS were essentially doing, like, nothing. Does first fight, like, make sense? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Also have been a better pick if I got off Ash. Uh, really, you don't want a hit scan. You want, like, a dive hero. Um, like, someone with mobility. If you're running this comp. That's why, like, I can tell, like, from what I understand, like, uh, you seem to be, like, much more, like, a hard hit scan player. I think there's also, it's worth considering that you guys might want to be playing different comps or different variations of comps. Uh, I think you guys might want to be running Rhine more or be running, uh, like, Rhine May Cree. You guys are running, like, Sim Cree, which is, like, kind of weird uh, on other maps. And then you guys are running, like, you got, like, in Owl, the, we, we have figured out all the comps. Like, Overwatch has been out for, like, five five years and there haven't been many additions or like balance changes we know all the comps that like all the optimal comps that exist in the game uh and there's like a good reason I i'm sh i don't know if you guys actually know this or follow owl so it might be actually good to like write this down do any of you guys like follow owl or anything uh i do okay so like this is like one comp uh tracer sombra and this this can be like reaper as well as long as you have two divers it doesn't really matter uh sombra this is like one comp. The the classic Rhine comp, I'm sure you even see this in rank, is uh, Lucio, Bap, May, Cree. Th these just have like a ton of synergy together with themselves. Uh, it's going to be like hard to explain them. They're running like, they're running their classic balls and comp, balls and Tracer, Sombra. Uh, this can be like Ash or whatever. Uh, there are like slight variations on these things, but these are like basic shells of comp. There's Orisa, Sig, uh, Rig, Bap. This can be Zen Bap, you know. These are like the basic type of comps uh, with Tracer plus Hit Scan, you know, or just two Hit Scans. That's fine as well. Like, there's a lot of different variations, but uh, you guys are like stuck in the middle basically with your comp. So, uh, I would highly suggest just like following a meta comp. Uh, it, it'll like, and it makes the concepts a lot easier because they're not a mix match and you don't have to play this way. What I will say, if if you do want to play Ash with the Winston comp. Uh, which I think is, like, fine. I, if you guys are really comfortable with that, and then, like, your, your main tank player really wants to play Winston, but your, your DPS really wants to play Ash, what you're gonna need to do is, like, hide and time yourself, basically. You need to hide and time yourself, because the rest of your team is, like, leaving you. They have to jump forward, and then make you, sp give you space, and then you have to, like, time yourself on your own angle. Um, I think it's pretty hard, because if they have balls and trace, ball, tracer, sombra, they can pretty much always find you, and there's not really much you can do about it, but that's how you would play. Um, yeah. Uh, same with Ana, like, I think Moira is better. Ana might be, like, Ana feels better, I'm sure, to, like, all flex supports. Like, Ana is more fun, all that stuff. And, like, I think a really, like, uh, typical misconception is that ball counters... Or sorry, Ana counters ball, but this is like not true. Um, she like has one mechanism that counters ball, which is just sleep. Uh, but past that, she doesn't really counter ball all too much. Uh, yeah, because on on is like the worst healer in terms of like healing a group of people besides Zen. Uh, but Zen has like a lot of damage. Ana is like single target healing. She can't like really rush. She can't protect herself super easily. She has to like hit these clutch shots 
uh, that can get easily like matrixed or blocked or whatever, like with sleep and nade, they can just get blocked or eaten or whatever. So uh, this is why you go Moira is because you can just like follow your team uh, a lot of times. And then Cole is like a better ult than Nano a lot of the times as well uh, in team play. Sorry, that's a lot about comps. I actually don't think it matters which comp you play, but the concepts matter more. As long as you guys have two divers, it could be Echo Tracer, it can be uh, something like Reaper, Sombra, Sombra, Reaper, Trace, or Tracer, Reaper, something like this, just so that you don't have a tail. Even if you play McCree, I think McCree would be the best hit scan you could play, or Soldier, because he's really independent, and you just run in with them and rush with McCree. Uh, though I think it's like kind of strange if you want to fill towards your strengths but still want to play Monkey, that is something that you can do. Sorry, the, does the comp stuff make sense? Because I, I know that's probably like one of the more confusing parts if you guys aren't really exposed to like pro play. Yeah, it does. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so this first fight, again, not inter or not not interesting. We just fucked up. And then I agree with this jump. I think you guys just need to go more more forward. This tail is fucked, in my opinion. Like you just have to win like a crazy duel against this Sombra, which is just like uh yeah it's hard but like yeah you're you're the weak spot in the team uh and then what ha needs to happen after the first jump you guys actually just need to decide what you're doing with the next jump too because you like regroup are we just chilling on this wall did they go super far back this way or go super far back this way are we resetting up for a dive are we chilling for a bit and then we're resetting up for a dive but you guys pretty much have to dive because if you guys don't uh all these people have like range damage that you do not like this guy has more range than you uh these guys should have more range than like monkey lucio uh on a on a healing is good but it's it does less discord does more damage than on a healing does uh discord is like cuts everyone hp by 30 percent, so it's like very very good right uh so you guys are, should just get poked out if you guys don't dive because these two heroes don't do anything uh for the poke so but these two heroes are really good when you get brawling when you get fighting so even after this first step what you need to do is re-talk about how to connect, how to connect. I always talk to my team about connecting uh, when we're playing Lucio comps. How do we connect to their backline? How do we connect to their, their weak guys, right? Okay. Oh, okay, let me go back a little. So these these guys are also not, not very good, like, at understanding their comp. Their ball just, like, 1v6s all the time, basically. Like, he's in, but, like, no one else is fighting. Uh, just, like, a little bit of Sigma. But, like, this is bad. You guys abuse this. This is really good. After their ball uses Slam and Shield, like, he just used two very important cooldowns for, like, nothing, right? You guys didn't get pressured at all. Like, this Tracer's behind you, but you a lot of times you can just walk past this guy. Uh, what you guys need to do is look for dive right now. And then there's uh, another thing with looking for dives. We can fight, like, very, like, in general, we can fight very linearly if you guys want, uh, which is, like, what I mean by linearly is just like W key in a straight line. So, sorry. Uh, first fight, it was just like W key here. But really what you want to do is if you're jumping here, you want to have someone on their backside a lot of the times. Uh, this is like called setting up for the dive and setting up angles for the dive. This is why you like try to fight for the side space before in, in dive comps. But technically they have the better side fight, right? Like I said, they have ball and tracer marking this side in first fight. So you guys might need to just fight very linearly and just run at them. Like literally just W key, uh, straightest point, straight point from A to B. But if you can, you should set up angles on your dive, little angles. So you guys set up little angles on your dive right here. Just in the fact that your tracer goes left here and then your Winston goes right here. I think this would have been fine if Winston went right alone and then Diva came from here and then you guys just pincer them, right? It's much harder, like, uh, it's much harder for them to look at two different sides. And then, yeah, it's just much harder for them to look at two different sides. And then you get a better angle on your attack. Here you guys go pretty linearly, but at least your tracer's on a side. But the most important thing of what you guys just did there is you guys saw the chance to go in after they used, the ball just used cooldowns. It's their turn, but then right after they use cooldowns, boom, 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 it's our turn. And then we, our goal is to connect, our goal is to connect, our goal is to connect. And this should look cleaner, like a 3-2-1 dive. Uh, it's not, like, super clean right now. I like how the Ana is, like, running in, too. Uh, Moira does the same thing, but, like, if you can get away with Ana, it's fine. But Moira is generally going to be easier. Because, like, a lot of this time this scrim, you just got fucked by, like, a ball slamming you. And then your Lucio was forward, but you were behind. And he needs to do both things, which is impossible. Lucio can't carry you very well. Okay. 
so I'm gonna go fight by fight and then I'll I'll go over another map and then see if you guys can try to apply like all the concepts I, I gave in one thing. Okay, so here our goal is to connect. Our goal is to set up a dive. We should be talking about where do we want them for the dive location. Uh, and we should be setting up for it. You guys have all the position in the world because you guys just capped point and you guys just want to fight. So we should be able to set up dive. I, I think a tracer hiding here is fine. If like, let's say a Sombra finds her or whatever, you just need to be aware. But we need someone like one on this angle, one on this angle. And again, if you have another diver, it's easier. You have like a Reaper hiding or a, or a Sombra just invis. This is fine too. But we need to set up a location for our dive. In comms, I remember the comms here. It was kind of like really, really slow. And then we, we were asking, can we nano? Like, the, you guys should already know that we're looking for dive because that's all you guys can do in your comp. You guys are all in uh, an all in comp. You guys are a rush comp. You guys should be talk constantly talking about how we're engaging. But here it's like pretty slow. They, they should see you guys for like 10 seconds. They have uh, like the ball slammed through you. Like from this point on, they know where you guys are at. And it's not really surprising. Sorry, I guess from this point on, they, they like know where you're at and it's not very surprising. Uh, and they're shooting you in the face, which is not very good for you guys. Uh, somehow you get off a jump. This guy should have just already been over here, in my opinion, and just peeled inside, but it doesn't really matter. And their brig just fucks up their rally, but this should have been, like, pretty hard for you guys. If the rally lives, you guys wouldn't have killed any of these guys. And in fact, like, this is the tail thing I'm talking about. They just, like, look to surround you guys afterwards, right? I think you guys narrowly win this with, like, a point fight, but... That, that fight didn't wasn't good by any means. It was just like their brick fucked up with the rally, basically. Uh, but conceptually, you guys like failed to do what you needed to do. Uh. So you guys have position again. You guys should be constantly thinking about where we fight. And like, remember how I said like in here is kind of bad? As long as you're set up for it, it doesn't really matter where you fight. I think you guys can fight literally outside. Your Winston goes over here, and then your someone calls from main, scouts from main, and is like, yep, yep, three, two, one, dive. And then you guys kill the Zen here. You guys can dive literally anywhere on the entire map. Some some places are better for geography. For example, like Winston jumping here is kind of hard because there's a roof over his head. But you guys can set up anywhere. But you guys are like not very creative with what, how you're setting up dives. We can set up dives with Bob too. Bob can just come from this angle, uh, and you guys like just toss the bob as with the dive or ash is scouting from main and she tosses the bob with the dive right but you guys are kind of like giving them all the space backwards what i mean by giving all the space like their front line's already through and they haven't like it's fine that their front line's through but like they haven't been interrupted at all and you haven't found a better dive location because again like i'm seeing the monkey angle i cannot like you could be the best monkey in the world i cannot jump from here to inside here with this roof over my head, with this doorway, right? Like, it, it's impossible. And another thing is, if you let them, like, just in general in Overwatch, you guys want to go first because you're a faster comp, but you always want to go first in Overwatch. Uh, reacting to plays is super hard, especially when there are, like, great ultimates, like EMP, like, uh, Pulse, like, you know, there are, there are, like, really great ultimates in the game. You always want to go first if you can, and you guys have, like, all the initiative to go first. You have Lucio, you have all the positions, but going first in Overwatch is, like, super, super important, and they get, you gave them all the space to go first on you, basically. Their team is out, their Zen's out for free. Uh, and yeah. Gonna be not interesting. I, I think Ash and Ana die like three times in the stagger fight because it's really hard to keep you guys alive. Oh, wow. Sorry. Okay. Again, your guys' goal is to connect. Oh, this Diva should have just died. Uh, you should die or get out. One of the two, <laughs> if possible. Oh. So yeah, again, with this comp, like, you can try to fight the side space, like, if you were a, a Reaper or something, you would just, like, come over here, and then you'd, like, bang, 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 and then you'd shift back to your team. You can kind of fight the side space here. As Sombra, you could fight it with your Tracer, but as Ash, if you're left alone here, like, it's pretty hard. You just have to, like, make an insane, like, couple shots. Uh, 
And even if you have, like, the best aim in the world, like, you know, in Overwatch League, there are, like, people with, like, the most cracked out aim in the entire world. Like, actually, like, Ons is, like, insane. He would not want to play Ash in this comp. It's, like, very difficult for him because he has no support. And the comp isn't really based around him. So, it makes sense that you're trying to fight here. But just with your hero choice and with the comp choice, it's, like, very hard. Um, but, yeah, Ash dies. And you guys should be constantly thinking, how do I connect? How do I connect? Again, they're both like beating most of this time. Here, you, we get distracted by this tracer on point, and we get worried about point control. We cannot worry about point, uh, and I know that's stupid to say, but like, we have to win the fight. Because <laughs> what's going to happen if you guys go to point? You guys are going to be stuck on point. Going from here and rushing the Zen from point to here is very, very hard. Because you're like Lucio, Tracer, Sombra, like have to use like three blinks they're the most mobile heroes in the game and the, it is hard for to go from here to here like it is very very hard uh to go from here to there uh you guys just needed to have connected by now you guys need to constantly think about how to connect how to make the shortest distance and connect right now they are so close to you guys this zen is like feeding uh in my opinion he not my opinion he, he is a feeding 100 percent uh, you guys just need to set up a dive for him and always be thinking like how do I connect with my comp? How do I connect with my comp against against this comp? I pretty much argue against most comps if you're running Lucio Winston or Lucio Ryan You're pretty much always thinking about how to connect unless it's like the mirror matchup the mirror matchups like a little more complicated But uh, the concepts like kind of similar you're you're like looking to rush their back line if possible But here like uh I talk about like space in terms of like an infinite circle. This is an actual circle that we can visualize. If you guys are here and you guys are stuck here, this is exactly what they want to do. This is your space. And then uh, blue is their space, right? They can just fuck you from every single angle from here. They can fuck you from here. They can fuck you from here. They can fuck you. You guys own like 20% of the pie and they own like 80% of the pie right here. And it's just, this map is just a giant circle in big concept. So like, uh, like like I said, this team wants to surround you and you guys just need to go into them linearly. And how you do that is by cutting distance. So um, let's say their Zen was over here, right? Their Zen just started back here and you guys were on your side over here. How would you guys cut the distance to them? How would you guys path to them? Hmm. Um... Been, I've been watching it on the, the stream on Twitch because the one in here is kind of very pixely and it was a little bit behind. So we were going from where to where. I see the second dot that you made. What about Sorry. The, where's the first one? Okay, so Zen's over here and we're just like at the beginning. We're we're in lobby. We're, sorry, let me take a better angle. Sorry, the, I, I don't know what to do about Discord uh, lagging. It's all right. It's just like that. Yeah, so we're here and the Zen is over here. You guys can see through this like glass window. <laughs> uh. Mm -hmm. But let's say Zen was over here, and then you guys were over here. Just, you know, you guys just respawned and, and got grouped up here. How would you guys uh, try to find a way to get to Zen? Uh, maybe go right to the stairs and then jump that, like, dive over the full to the back. Here? Jump here? Yeah. Okay. Not bad. I think another thing that you guys have is Lucio. So you guys can make faster rotations. Like if we're going in a circle, like they're going, you know, they can play ring around the Rosie, but they really can't. Cause like this Zen moves slower because we have Lucio. So if we went in an infinite circle together, our rate of like movement is faster than theirs, right? We will eventually catch up. So what we can do also is go all the way around. If you look at this distance, this is some math here, <laughs> but it's like basic understanding of math. Uh, Oh, sorry. This is a square. Uh, the diagonal distance, this is a hypotenuse. This is longer uh, than this distance, than any side of a triangle. <laughs> sorry, I don't need to explain things in terms of math. I'm sorry. But this is this is longer than this. What you can do, path this way, and then you have this distance here. And if he goes, if the Zen starts going this way, it just means we can LOS this way. During this whole time, they cannot shoot you, right? Because there's a wall here. So this will cut the most distance out of all of it because... This distance is very, very far, I think. This is like, yeah, this is even farther than if you guys went out this way. So this is like actually maybe one of the least good options uh, because this is the farthest distance 
given that this is a square. This is actually faster. Uh, but also, since it's, uh, you know, this distance, the width of the... Uh, the length of the rectangle is bigger. This this width is smaller. This distance is smaller. You guys should come from this way, right? So you guys just have to constantly think about like, okay, the LOS is, okay, here, I'm safe. I'm safe from LOS. And then boom, explode on this guy. I'm cutting distance. Okay, the Zen's here. Okay, cool. I'm going to split two guys this way and then two guys this way. And then we're just going to dive and collapse on the Zen here. Because yeah, I can I can triple blink from here. And, and get to them, you know? So, like, always with this comp, you try to, like, quote-unquote, like, cut in. You try to cut the distance, try to cut in, and be creative and use LOSs. Use LOSs to, like, figure it out. Use your Lucio to rotate around. All right. And then, yeah. So, is uh is the reason, like, why you guys don't want to end up on point uh, clear? Because uh, that was, like, the main point, and then I went on to another point about cutting cutting distance. Why we want to end up on point? Uh, because you just get surrounded. You can't connect to them. Mm -hmm. Your whole goal is to connect with your comp, and you guys cannot connect because there's this, like, you know, this is a high ground, and then there's a pit right here. So you cannot connect to them. You guys just want to be six on top of them. Like, if you're six on top of them on the Zen, you guys should should be able to win uh, if you mm -hmm. guys set up your dive correctly. If you sit out here... You guys are capping point, but they're just shooting at you, and then a ball can just infinitely stay on point. Like he'll just get double packed or whatever. They the diva can just touch point, whatever. It, it's not a big deal uh, for them to touch point. Your guys' greater goal this entire time is to connect, 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 dive, 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 rush, 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 whatever you want to call it. Right here was the 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 decision point that like fucked you guys basically. Yeah, my fault. Yeah, no worries. It's what review is for. So, <laughs> okay. I actually want to go over. Uh, I I know you said you wanted to focus on uh, shrine a bit. I'll, I'll try to give you guys like uh, an example actually, because I, I I like bring up things from an Overwatch League scrim, and I have like a good third person view. And this is like uh, how it should look more perfectly from both sides, like how it should look like. Uh, so I want to give you guys like a proper example, because I know I was talking about concepts, but uh, this might be easier. Oh God. Hey, we we need a creative reason. Someone, someone, someone blinking for this. Okay. Oh, sorry. I have the wrong clip here. On the first fight, they're Rhine comp, but their goal is like very, very similar. I know we have Ash and Mercy, but the goal is very, very similar. You guys see that these guys are trying to connect the entire time. They're really threatening, and we're trying. These guys are trying to run away at the same time. Like their backline is trying to run away at the same time. So they're trying to run, connect, connect, connect. They even send a sim over here, and again, they're like desperately trying to connect. They're desperately trying to connect, like as much as they possibly can. They are chasing our our guys through fucking Narnia, <laughs> like. I can show this with comms, but like birdering is just like not having a good time. So, well, I don't know why this is so laggy. I think my computer is just awful and can't handle. <laughs> uh, could you guys see on the stream? Sorry. Yeah, we yeah. did. It was clear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Their whole goal was trying to connect. So yeah, just try to think about that. Basically, is like that's kind of what it should look like. But you have more liberty with Winston. You can like jump from further away. And yeah, because Ryan can pin, but Winston can jump, and jumping is probably better. <laughs> Uh, a lot of the time. Okay, cool. Uh, a question you're like, a question you might be asking is, David, do we, do we really always have to rush? Like, is that really always our win condition? Uh, and the answer is technically no. With Winston, I think it is more so. With Ryan, you guys play a lot more Ryan than Winston. The ideas are still the same. Just to be clear, if you were Ryan, you would still want to go this way and then cut in to to the Zen, right? It's still the same thing, but. On Ryan, you have a little bit more liberty because you are you should be running like May Cree. And remember how I said like uh, you want two divers? Now you actually have people who can just stand and shoot. Like Cree can stand and shoot. And this is like more uh, spooks, I, I think like comfort heroes, right? Like the hitscan heroes. So I want to go over this. Um, yeah, I play Widow mostly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I think... Oh my god, dude. 
I think it's because I have a billion tabs up, and like my computer is cannot stream and watch Overwatch at the same time. Normally, I have like a YouTube VOD. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay, so this is from the same thing. As Ryan, what you can do is you can just sit on the wall, and you have a lot of presence, and you can hold space. We're going to try to get space around them, but it's really, really hard for our team. Sorry, we're, we don't have point. They have point. It's really, really hard for our team to get behind them because this map is really open, which is why, like, Hitscan is quite good on this map. This map is really open. Like I said, it's a giant circle. But, like, look, this guy is fighting for the side space already. We can't actually get through. Uh, if you look at Nepal as a map, or this map, uh, there's only three ways for us to enter. Main, which Orion is basically just holding from here with a Lucio. He, he just threatens to rush here. Left side here, the coast. And then deep over here. All of these are just really, really big chokes, or really, really tiny chokes for us. So what Atlanta is doing is they're holding the space. They're holding the space. You guys don't always have to rush if you guys have like a hit scan threat. You guys don't always have to rush. Sometimes you do uh, what, I, like your Ryan just like zones them off, basically. He just grabs their attention and like make sure that there's then Brig cannot run across, right? They can't run across because then the Ryan will just run into him. Uh, Paro track, you, you did this a couple times where you just ran into their sports. Really good. It should be hard for the Zen Brig to get through here because tiny choke, tiny choke, or back here, there was a tiny choke, right? All of these yeah. were tiny chokes. So if you were Ryan right here, your McCree May, McCree May can just be shooting anything that enters, and your Diva can be like marking over here or over here. Oh, sorry. Like you, you guys know I'm pointing to coast, right? The coast door. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, you guys don't always have to rush. You guys can sometimes just hold. And in the example over here, like, again, it's really hard for us to get in. Our ball is just, like, 1v6. And it's, like, <laughs> he rolls in, but he has to come out pretty, pretty fast. Like, really, really fast. And we're going to try to get our way in. But, again, the Kree is, like, actively marking this space. Because they know, okay, they're not going through the front. Because my Ryan's holding the front. Uh, He threatens now, you know? Now we just try to like straight up fight because we can't find a way in. Just start any fight is good for us. But you know, this is what they want is is a fight up close and in, in these close quarters. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over uh your guys' Li Zhang control center because this should be like a really quite easy map, I think, uh for Ryan. Like in general, a very good map. But I want you guys to talk to me about like how you what you should have done better. And ignore the comp right now. I think there's a lot of optimization for the comp, but uh, yeah. What do you guys see with the problem with this first fight? Um, there was a brig by herself on the right. It looked like that we. Went that way and then we walked away. Well, not on the right, like in the middle of where we pushed. Mm. What else? Sorry, someone was say starting to say something. <laughs> uh, our Lucio was uh by himself while we were trying to rush into the enemy team. Your team movement is basically very confused. Some of you guys want to hang back and fight these flankers. Some of like some of you guys want to go push these guys. And neither is wrong. Like, let's say I put up held my Rhine Shield up here. Their Zen and Brig can't really see. I just hold this corner and then we kill the their flankers, right? We can do that, right? Because you basically 1v2 in the front as Ryan. 1v3 basically. Maybe your Lucio's near you, but you just can like hold presence in the front, 2v3 it, and then we can 4v3 their backline. Or we can go all the way through and just run at them, run at them as six. But what we do here, we do a little half and half. We're looking behind, trying to peel. This guy is in no man, Spook, you're in no man's land because you're neither forward and, yeah. So we're doing like a half and half. Our Ryan is up here. There's no reason, our Ryan is not faster than any other hero in the game. If he pins, he's faster. But if he's not, there is no reason why anyone else should be this far away. Uh, if your guy's goal is to rush them. And to me, like, this is up to you guys. If something is... I, I just tell my team, say if something is too far. I, I don't know what is too far in every situation. You know, every situation is different. But if you say too far, what you do is you kill middle. So kill middle is the concept I was talking about. Your Ryan holds here, 
and then you kill everything in between you and the rest of your team, right? Kill the flankers behind, whatever you want to call it, because this guy will just hold up shield and 1v2 over here, 1v3, I think it is, over here, and then you guys can 5v, uh, 5v3 on the other side if you guys want to kill middle. If you guys want to just rush forward, then you just six-man rush together, but doing this half and half is no good. Um, if I can ask. Yeah. Um, so they were playing the, basically the same comp the entire uh, scrim session. Um, yeah. my sort of philosophy going into it the entire time was, um, they're running SIG or D.Va for off tank. Uh, we can literally just press W into their Zen Brig and just kind of kill them for free as long as we're grouped up. Is that the right philosophy to have, um, going into their team or am I just thinking about it wrong? Uh, like I said, like, uh, th there's two, two things that you can do in every situation. Uh, and basically the answer is it depends on what they do. If their Zen is like all the way back here and then you, you want to kill him on, on the outside of their spawn, that's crazy person shit. You know, that's like too far. Right. Um, yeah. so you need to see what, what they're doing. And like I said, there's two options. You hold the space and then we kill their flankers behind or we rush through. You can do both. It just depends on what they do. Like it's not a one or the other type of thing. It's a, what is this situation demand for? Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. It does. Okay. It didn't really matter what decision we decided to do. We just had to do it all as a team and not split. Yeah, that's the main thing as a team that I'd be teaching. The strategic content is like, you know, oh, something is too far. You got I think you guys can figure this out like naturally. You'll you'll see like, oh, the Zen was too far in this one. We didn't if if you didn't kill him, then the Zen was probably too far. If you did kill him, but it, it was very costly, it's like, ah, oh, maybe I'm not sure. Uh, but you guys can like figure that out as you scrim because I can't describe every situation to you guys. It's impossible. I'm just trying to give you guys big concepts now. But yeah, the big concept is move together as a team or do one thing as a team. I would literally just say, as Ryan, I am saying kill middle, kill flankers. I'm just holding here. You know, I would just say kill kill flankers and then you're just chilling. We're not rushing. I'm not rushing. Kill flankers, you know, some quick calm like that. Because you guys took all the space. The Zen can't really see anything from here. If, if you've ever played Zen here and Orion's up in your face, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm a SIG here. I What the fuck? I can't do anything. Even if I go wider here, it's, like, not better. My, the Orion just pushes up to here or this corner, and it's pretty hard still. Right? So, yeah. Again, I, I'm happy with either. The brain dead rush thing, I don't think I need to describe. Just run at them. <laughs> uh, I would also never play Hog. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I, I hate to comment on comp, but because uh, I don't think comp matters too much. I think you guys can play whatever. But I would never play Hog because this guy is just a third DPS. You, you have nothing helping your Ryan. Um, that's why I'd be more in favor of not rushing is because you don't actually have two tanks. You just have three DPS walking at them, which isn't very good. Okay. Let's look at this next fight. And again, you guys tell me what went wrong. To me, these guys played badly, uh, and you guys have like a superior, superior comp on this map. So I don't care about the result. I just want to talk about your guys' play. I only care about your guys' play. I'm not here to improve the other team. So this is really good. Basically, their backline didn't move at all, and then they're just doing a three v five, three v six, basically. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they they're doing really bad stuff. Oh, maybe I. Got them there. Oh, sorry. It's the next fight. Yeah, this was a no 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 awesome fight. Okay. I'm trying to show everything. These guys are over here. You guys are over here. What do you guys want to do? Okay. Um, tell me now, actually. Yeah, tell me what you want to do. I think uh, it's the uh, just the same concept as before. They have their DPS uh, in our back line. We want to make sure um, their supports and or, uh, what is it? Sigma. Hog. Don't, oh, Hog. Or Sigma, yeah. Uh, don't want to be able to move in to help them, so it's just more numbers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right here, I'd get closer to the wall, uh, my opinion on Ryan, because they can't see you at all. Over here, they can kind of see you, but it's small detail. Also, you're like literally more threatening because of the break. Uh, and you can maybe smack the ball around. They again found a way to go first. Uh, if you see that they're trying to go first, their supports will move up. 
And if their supports move up, that means you can just kill them and run past the the Sombra. So again, if you're if you're holding space, like it, they can just get set up on you guys, and it's like kind of awful for you. So you really need to uh, try to make a plan to go first, or like have more. Of this is a really good entry by them. They EMP you guys and kill you guys. Uh, yeah. But again, you guys just have a better comp or like, you know, shooting their heads off or whatever. But the big concept you guys uh, failed, failed to do, basically. Okay. I actually want to talk about this because you guys actually do a good job naturally <laughs> it's it's very strange you guys actually do a very good job uh naturally even though th this comp like really uh again this isn't really a, a proper comp you have lucio but you also have like two two long range tanks or two like tanks that don't really want to rush uh but here you actually you guys actually fight the sides oh i'll show before this actually you guys are actually fighting the sides really actively and this is what i mean by you can hold space there's no ryan stopping these guys these guys are just not moving up and i don't know why they're really scared of you guys and i don't know why but uh like you guys can fight the sides while nothing is happening and some people are like looking at the front like our own sig is looking at their front too and we're marking over here so you guys are really active about marking the sides and that's what you should do against dive dive wants to like take all the space around you they want to take all the pie right and make you stuck in a corner and then just dive you from here that's what they want to do dive you with the angles that they set up but that's why you kind of like if you have point if you have position you try to fight for it a little bit you try to fight for these sides a little bit wherever they're coming from uh and then you just have to keep track of the numbers game okay there's three over here okay there's Maybe there's only two over here and then one over here. Like, let's go push out this guy. Let's go push out this guy. Oh, maybe we can just rush these guys. You know, you guys will have to decide this. This is what I call the numbers game. You you guys have to decide based on the numbers that you have, based on your guys' plan, to be really active about what you guys want to achieve. And it's based on the comp, based on the ults you have. Maybe we have beat and we're just like, fuck it, go in. Or maybe you guys are like, oh, they have trance and rally. It's going to be really hard to rush. Let's, let's like wait until they get deeper in. Uh, I'll, I'll look for a shatter when they're deeper in, you know, like the the concept will change so you guys actually did like a good job here hopefully you guys see that this was like this looks a lot better yeah okay and if something doesn't make sense sorry i, I should have prefaced this thing if something doesn't make sense please 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 don't be afraid to ask me i i do not mind going over like something in a different way because i know the way i think about things is not always the way any everyone else thinks about things Blah, blah, blah. Okay. okay. So what do you guys have to do here? So we can already see why, like, how they're doing their comp, like, I'll say just, like, pretty well. Like, okay. They're taking the sides. The tracer's behind you. You guys are all stuck on point, so they're, they're literally all surrounding you. Their sombra is not timed with you, but it's whatever. They're all surrounding you, and the no, the fact that you're all, you guys get six man slams mean that you know they clearly corralled you into a corner. You know. What did you guys need to do even before this started? Once you got on to point, what did you guys need to do? Uh. Uh, take angles. Yeah, you guys need to be fighting for these sides already. You guys know these guys are main, and the Zen Brig, the Brig cannot reach you. The Sig cannot reach you from over here, right? You're look, you're doing two things. You're looking for the rush, and then you're also looking for the sides. So to me, right now, the as soon as I get onto point, my sim is telling me the sim TP cooldown because we can just sim TP onto their backline. Uh, I am marking the sides with my McCree Lucio. Uh, like sim, everyone, everyone can be marking the sides and looking at the front. If they become in rush range, what do we do? We just rush them. If this guy gets four, the tracer gets four v one, two v one, he'll get kicked out. He'll go back this way, and then we're looking at this side, right? Or we're just looking more at the front. Uh, but we need to be doing something active here because you guys are basically staring at nothing and doing nothing. If you're not shooting your gun, you're you're pretty much doing nothing, right? They go first, and again, they have all the space around you. They like this does not feel very comfortable. I could go to like Baps POV, Sim Metro's POV, but it looks very uncomfortable, like from third person. 
like, I feel like, I, yeah, I mean, this Kree just is having a terrible time. It's, like, really hard for him to do anything, because we're just standing in one spot. You guys, like, naturally do it as a reaction, like, oh, ball's feeding, ball's feeding. But, like, if you guys do this proactively before they get set up, it's much better. Because, like, again, right now, it is not looking good. <laughs> it, it is looking pretty bad. They just fuck up here. Uh, you guys win this fight, but this is, again, not a good fight for you. Your Ryan just without speed, because your Lucio's on heal this entire time because the BAP's done, like without speed killed the Brig, which just means the Brig like clearly fucked up. Because she can bash away, <laughs> she can whip you, uh, she can do like a lot of things here, but you just randomly kill the Brig. Uh, and this is really good, like uh, I'm not saying you didn't do a good job, but as a team you guys failed to do something proactive in the first 20 seconds of the game basically. Here again, can't see, I'm, I'm Sim, I break my TP up top. And then I am yelling, uh, I'm saying, okay, seven seconds to TP, we can look for Rush. And then my Kree and my Lucio, or like, you know, it can be anyone fighting for the side space, is over here fighting for the side. Over here fighting for the side. A little wide, a little wide to fight for the side. Because the only way they're Sombre, if they're Sombre Tracer or up front, this is not interesting, right? If they're up front, then yeah, shoot, shoot main. That's fine. But if they're not there, where are they? They're, they're on your left side or your right side. They have to be. They're, they're not dicking around in your spawn. They're not dicking around in their spawn. They're not chilling back here. They're not in main because why would they be main? Uh, they're on your left and your right side. So fight for space earlier. Don't get surrounded because it'll, it'll look a lot like this. And this is like really wrong. I can bring up more examples, but basically this just happens rather continuously. You guys win again, but I, I don't really care if you guys win or lose fights. It's more like how you guys play fights. So again, I'd be looking for TP rushes, like, this entire time. You guys have beat as well. I'd be looking to rush them. Uh, and, like, especially when they're inside, it's better because mines won't affect you guys. You guys are worse. Like, if you're out in the open, it's much worse for Ryan, right? Like, if you're out somewhere here it's pretty bad for you uh and your team it's really bad for you because the ball just slams and then when you're out in the open too what happens is they just have many many angles right they can take any angle that they want uh so i'd be looking to tp inside i'd be playing inside these rooms i'd be playing as much as possible like looking to tp inside these rooms and rush them Here, only Kree was marking the side, and then again, they just like get a setup perfectly on you guys. You guys can tell again that you guys are not fighting for any space because you guys are all the way on the back of point. All your entire team is sitting in the back of point. Like that just you know, it, it, it's pretty evident there that you guys aren't fighting for anything. You guys are just sitting on point. You can sit on point, but you just have to sit on point more proactively. <laughs> Like, Kree is in the cut over here. He's like, you know, this is all fucked over here. It looks pretty rough. This Zen should have killed like 10 people and this Brig should have pushed him. So hopefully you guys see there. Again, you guys have all the opportunity in the world to do whatever you guys want. Uh, because you guys just held the point. So you guys have literally, you know, the entire map to work with here. You can you, look for rushes. Look for look for something, you know, be proactive. If you want to sit on point, that's fine too. But if you're going to sit on point, be proactive and sit on point. Block the flanks. Make sure that they don't get angles. Make sure that this ball doesn't get a free slam like he's been getting a six-man mines. Don't sit on the back of point. My Ryan's pressuring mid. And we're also looking for rushes based on the numbers game. Uh, sorry, that's a lot of stuff, but... Is all this coming together? Hopefully all of this is like coming together in the concepts. Yeah, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I know it's a lot of concepts. Uh, this is the first time I've done something like fight by fight uh, rather than concept by concept, but hopefully it'll make sense. Uh, just again, like, uh, you in general don't want to play double hit scan. Uh, with Ryan because your goal is to rush them and May helps rush them because she puts up a wall She also protects the Ryan by putting up a wall and stuff like that uh, Yeah This is what happens when you're all like cornered and grouped This is not your fault just because they have all the positions so they should be doing this uh, I don't actually remember this fight, but it, it looks pretty bad for from my perspective. It looks like it's gonna be pretty rough Yep, okay 
Yeah, okay, it was very well. Uh, sorry, I forgot the order of the fights. There were lots of fights. <laughs> oh, they just fuck up and go inside. So. I'm not interested in this. Okay. You guys have point, and then they're gonna retake into you, right? Again. Uh, I, I, I hate to keep showing. It's almost like the, I'm watching the same fight like four times in a row. But hopefully this will etch into your guys' memory. That like, how bad it is to not be active. How bad it is to get surrounded as, as the Ryan comp. But this will also apply to Winston comp as well. Even though that their guy dies. And like, this ball is like feeding. He's not a very good ball player. Uh, I think they end up winning this. Because you guys end up with the same problem, like, uh, over and over again, basically. What we're, do what we're doing is, like, waiting to see what they're going to do, and that's bad because they're going to do whatever they want to do first, and we need to do first. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Make And also, if you're going first, it makes it a lot harder for them to think about. Like, right now, they're, it's almost like they're playing against AI, you know? Like, they're like... Uh, it's like PVE, you know, like they're sitting in the corner. They will not move from that corner. <laughs> like, you know, they ha they'll do these things. It's it's really easy for them to set up. The more tempo, this is what, like, there's lots of ways to use the word tempo, but I like to use tempo, like, how many actions are you doing per minute, basically? And and right now, you guys are not seeking to do that many actions. Hopefully, with the numbers advantage, you guys see more actions you can do. And again, like, if this feels comfortable, if standing here feels comfortable, like, it should not feel comfortable. I, I want to, like, etch that into your head. Because uh, it's going to be very <laughs> hard. And you guys had, like, in my opinion, you guys had the better comp on this map. Like, overall, I think Lucio comps are better on this map. Uh, and you guys still lost. So I know you guys said uh, to, like, review Nepal and Gibraltar. But this one is, like, these these maps are really, really important, too. Okay, we can go it was just the like rest of Nepal as well. Oh, sorry, sorry. What were you saying? Oh, no, I just uh, asked about those two maps specifically if you didn't have time to look through all five. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go over. Oh, uh, maybe this map's the other map's more interesting. Ready for battle. Sorry. Okay, they're basically. You can tell they're just basically AFKing up top and then setting up around the you guys, right? Yeah. You guys get point, that's great. You guys are actively fighting that guy, that's great. I'm really happy about that. Because once you actively fight this guy, it, it fucks his timing for the dive too. Like, that's what you want to do is fuck their timing with the dive. Because uh, now that ball just 1v6 dove and you guys are fine. Here, like, I like the idea of the TP play. It just needed to be, like, faster. If You guys could have just TP'd here and then just killed the, killed the Zen. But you you guys are, like, tr essentially doing the right thing. You guys found the Sig to kill, and that's great, too. Like, the most important thing that you guys were doing here were... It, it's like, you guys are actually doing actions here. Spook just got left alone, and that's just something that you guys just need to talk about, because he can look at the sides, but he can look at the sides if someone's helping him, you know? Like, Ana can look at him and heal him. It's like, fight for sides, fight for sides. Or it's like, rush them, rush them, rush them. You guys don't want to do the Li Zhang control center where you're doing both. Half your team is looking behind at the flankers. Half the team is is moving forward. That's how you get uh, stuck as the tail, you know? <laughs> so here, I, I will say not bad. Like, I am, I'm like, you know, it's, it's not bad. I don't like the pre-TP. I think you guys should just set up. Or like look the TP on the, to them, so use that free fight. But it, it's whatever. I'm not too fussed about it. Again, fight for sides or rushing. Uh, half your team is doing that. Half your team is doing that. Spook naturally like. Uh, I think you're like a really natural hit scan player. Like I see it. You want to take the wide angle. You want to fight things that are fighting you. You want to fight for space. That's really good. These are really good things that DPS want to do. Uh, you just need help doing it, and you guys need a team plan for doing it. I want to let your guys is like individual plays shine through, but the teamwork has to be there. The team plan has to be there. So try to show your teammates this bot uh, so that you guys understand the concepts. But here, Spook dies, and it's pretty hard to win any fights in Overwatch 5v6, but again, they just set up. And no one... Uh, Zarya can't really fight for sides. Uh, I know people think Ryan and Zarya is very good together, and Iona and Ryan are very good together. Uh, they are not. 
Uh, <laughs> like Bap is better because he can independent. He can he just does more damage than Ana, and he can fight for sides. Ana, the only advantage of Ana is you can hit a sleep and kill a Sombra and a and a Tracer, and then your your uh Nate is like good situationally. Uh, Zarya literally is just a DPS hero. The bubble doesn't the bubble does stuff sometimes, but Zarya is more about DPS and Diva is like the hero that best fights for the side space because she literally has like boosters and uh, can 1v1 things. She's like one of the best 1v1ers in the game. So here, again, great that you're looking for this, but uh, our team's kind of like picked, picked apart by this time. Uh, this one, I believe you were calling... Hey, do you remember that thing on Busan where I speed chattered them? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was this fight. Yeah. Again, we should be using TPs to get onto them. I want to use TPs to get onto them. Right now, as far as I'm concerned, with a TP, they are infinitely close. And Ball has a hard time slamming up here. He can, like... There are ways for, like, Ball to just, like, grapple here, and then he just, like, slams later. But he is not set up for him. And you guys aren't playing against, like, the best balls in the world, so no worries. But here, we have TP. To me, we just TP onto their back line. And then our whole team... Like, we get fucked in the rotation, basically. Our team gets fucked in the rotation. Like, Kree's trying to follow... But it's just like really hard. Your Ana's gonna follow and like hits a really good nade as well. Um, but it's just like really hard because you guys see them hitting your backside at the same time. This is why you guys need to make your rotations clean as possible and less out in the open. That's what TP is for. TP here, you guys have less distance where you get fucked. Like during this entire time, we have to use speed. Our Kree is dead during this time rotating. And yeah, we can't regroup. But... Think about two things, cutting distance and using sim TP. So a better way to cut distance might be to go through this way, fake this way, come through this way, whatever it may be. You, you guys kind of can see their reaction, but especially with sim, like start looking at their sim. Start, or sorry, start trying to use our TPs like aggressively. Uh, for the Ana player, uh, British, like Nano Ryan is pretty bad against their team. Cause like, unless he's on top of these, these three characters, Zen, uh, Sigma or Brig, he really doesn't do any damage to this guy, this guy, or this guy. Uh, this is why I say Nano Ryan's overrated, and Bap Window in general is like, well, just like more effective overall. If you're gonna Nano something, I am down to Nano my Kree, uh, and just have him survive. Down to down to Nano my Zarya, who's 100 energy and can like kill stuff. Again, I think like Nano is kind of like low value here, because uh, like these fights aren't like these brawls where one guy is just tanking a lot of HP. Nano Ryan doesn't get a lot of value unless he's swinging, and he can't swing very often. So I'd be looking to Nano Kree. If you're playing Ana, I'd look to Nano Kree. If you're playing Bap, I would rather play Bap. And then you can like window for your own value. And yeah, you have better self heal as well. Your shift is like insane and you have uh, your exo boots as well. Yeah. But if you really like Ana, I think it's fine too. Cause you've been getting like plush purples and stuff like that. We can see what happens when we, we can't rush. Like, this is what happens when you can't rush. You're basically down two heroes. <laughs> You're down two heroes the moment you can't rush. Uh, arguably three, since you guys are playing Sim. But all their heroes do damage at range. None of our damage. Or, none of our heroes do damage at range. So the reason that, like, I'm sure in the scrim it just felt impossible. Because I, I was looking at... Uh, Paro, Paro's POV from Twitch, just to listen to your guys' comments a bit. It just looked impossible from from my like your guys' side. Like I heard the disparity in <laughs> in our Kree and Ana's voice. It's just like I'm always dying, I'm always dying. And if you guys do these principles a lot better, these little things or like these big concepts will help you guys a lot. And a little goes a long way. Like uh just like TPing from this distance to here on that last fight makes a big difference, you know? Like little things really make a huge difference. But yeah, it should feel like you guys should be able to do nothing because you guys aren't playing to your win conditions and they're doing a good enough job of playing to their win conditions. Whew, I didn't even get to go over Gibraltar. Um, I can try to go over Jib. Uh, it's, it's talking about dive though, so it might be pretty hard. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk a little bit about it. Okay. Because I have to actually go at like 6.30, so I, I only have like five more minutes here, and then I'm going to like Arriving try to end stream. Okay. I, I would normally stay after, it's just I have a thing after. Uh, and I, it's fine that you guys were like a little later, whatever. 
Um, here again, the concept of your comp is like fucked up. Uh, again, hit scan is really good on this map. Maybe you have one hit scan player, uh, and I would rather have Kree, so he isn't so wide wide away. He isn't so like tail. Sorry, he isn't so much of a tail. He can like kind of move in with our on a break. But you guys really just if you're playing a dive dive comp, you want dive dive DPS. Uh Tracer, Echo, Sombra Reaper, you know things like this. But here, you guys are like, just to be really clear about the tail concept, this is, it just looks like, it, it's fucking awful <laughs> for playing hit scan. I'm sure it felt pretty awful to play hit scan this block, uh, cause when I was looking at the kill feed and stuff, it just did not look fun. But yeah, and the Widow is even like, oh my god, this ball's on me. He, he's, again, not even a good ball, he's like flailing around a bit. <laughs> but there's nothing your team can do because what is your Winston gonna do? Go jump the ball? It's, it's like pretty hard for him, you know? You guys just have to like look to connect on their back line. Oh, okay. So things are whatever. You guys died, but right now, any time that they are playing Zen, you really need to find ways to connect. And uh, though I guess like even if they're not playing Zen, if you're Winston, you are trying to connect. No matter what, you are trying to jump their back line as Winston. If you're not jumping their back line, you better be killing their middle people and like zoning off their back line, kind of like a Ryan. That's what you should be doing. But here, you guys are like, looking behind you when there's a Zen like right in front of your guys' faces who just pops up, and like it should be obvious he's here because uh, he was shooting you guys here. So he had to have rotated either this way or this way. Or, you know, this way. You know, if he rotates this way, he's above you, and you should be able to jump that. Uh, and if not, yeah, he's going this way. And if he goes this way, you should be able to kill him as well. So, right here, you guys aren't playing your comp very well, like, in terms of finding the win condition. You guys are just, like, six-manning cart. Like, if we're going to six-man cart, like, it's better to be Arissa. Um, and, like, that's totally fine to play Arissa. But even on Arissa, you'd fight for the side space or something. But here... You guys are missing the big concept. I see this brig. What the fuck? Let's go run into him. Ana does more when she gets to run in against Zen. Zen at long range does more than Ana at long range. That I'm certain of. Because Zen damage is just so high. Zen with Discord is so high. Ana can miss shots. You know what she can't do? She can't miss a point blank nade against supports. She'll run into these guys. The Winston comp always wants to get closer, closer, closer. And you guys are traveling out in the open against, you know, a dive comp, basically, which is not good. You guys want to get inside cover. And again, these guys are feeding. These guys are fucking feeding, for sure. My Ana Brig should just run into their Zen Brig. And my Winston, too. Capping doesn't matter, either. Uh, you guys need to win the fight. They, like, maybe they see 9, and that's super lucky. But in general, you should expect a good quality team. Uh, like any one of these four heroes to touch point. Like they can all easily touch point. You're not going to C9 someone super easily. Like uh, look for a die, die. Like killing them is more important than the point. Again here. All that happens, you guys get surrounded. It's really hard for you. I'm going to show from their perspective. It looks really easy from their perspective. Even if she gets to sleep, like she's in no man's land. Yeah, it looks awful. So this is again, you guys not like doing anything basically. You guys aren't like being proactive in your comp beforehand. And then you guys are getting stuck in one angle just trying to like group up together. Boom, no space. All stuck in a corner. It's gonna get a four man slam. Yeah, the nade's huge value, but it, it's not really because you guys already lost the game beforehand. Or lost the, the battle beforehand. Okay. This second fight. Okay, good. You guys are on Tracer now. You guys actually have a dive hero. They C9, so when I said good teams are gonna <laughs> not C9, uh, yeah, it happens. But it's not something you should rely on. Here, they see that you're coming this way. Uh, every, every Brig above like 3.5 should just be able to whip you out of the air. If you're really good at monkey, you can bubble the whip uh, mid-air. But then you won't have bubble for over here, so you can just get bashed and discorded and die. Uh, so it's pretty rough uh, to, like, if you jump from here, it is just the easiest thing in the world for the brig to do. I know you said my bad. The only thing you could have done better is if you just bubbled off as soon as you saw her whip, like, mid-air. Uh, which is something, like, very good monkeys can do. Uh, but here, like, you're, you're asking for a nano and asking for nano. Our dive looks so bad. Like, they, they know it's coming. Like, this is not tricky at all. We saw you for the past 20 seconds, like, sitting here. And then we saw you for the past 10 seconds sitting here. What we need to do is cut in again. 
any time that they're playing Zen, we need to cut in. Any time we want to like brawl them more, uh, we we need to cut in. So the best way to cut in here is either you guys go all the way around here and then like have our backline meet their backline, or you guys can go under here, and then this is a better angle for your monkey jump because you can make a flatter jump here. Uh, but you guys can go under here, and then your Ana Brig can force point with uh with rally both are acceptable here the the best one if you have infinite amount of time is to go this way if you don't want to use that much time just going to point rallying and forcing a fight and getting your your angle from here is good um and hopefully your tracer is like setting up on the side or setting up somewhere behind them or above them or sorry below them or something you know but here this this jump's gonna fail like 10 out of 10 times if the enemy is good and we use nano primal and really they don't in my opinion, they don't even have to use anything. Uh, they probably just need to use Rally. There, but you guys cap out of coincidence, basically. Just pure, pure luck. You can tell, too, because they win the fight after. <laughs> Does that make sense, what I'm saying about, like, cutting in? It's the same as if you were Lucio Moira, actually. It's, it's the same exact idea. Yeah, it makes sense. Boom. And then you, you want to be creative, like... You show your face, you show your face, you show your face. That's not a good dive. You guys want to be fast. That's why Lucio's really good uh, in general, like with Winston and stuff. It's uh, it's fine to play on a break here. And then the alternative pathing, again, like I said, we want to connect with our backline. We want our backline to get value. Just routing up through here, that's that's one of the best ways to cut in. If you were like Lucio Moira, for sure you'd go up here, I think. Or you'd just jump and then play the ground fight. It's fine too. Uh, I'm actually out of time uh, for review stuff. I actually had more stuff, but it's no problem. Uh, do you guys have any questions or particular team fights? I, I always want to leave like uh, room for you guys to ask questions or like if something didn't make sense or like you know some particular fight that didn't make sense to you. Uh, aside from like the big concepts that you were telling us about and mm -hmm. like um, how our team comps seemed kind of mixed up in the beginning, if, even if we did go with a specific team comp, a lot of them. Like when you were saying we need to run two dive DPS like Echo Tracer or we need to run like a May here or stuff like that, like pretty much. And I don't know if this, like, I guess, should I just be like playing other characters? Because I pretty much only play like Hit Scan, Widow, Ash Cree, Hit yeah. the Hanzo, like, well, and everything else I just not very good at. What, what does this guy play? Is this guy more flexible? Uh, other, yeah, they can play like Echo Tracer. And yeah pretty much almost anything okay then then yeah like uh sometimes we have like in overwatch league 2 we sometimes have like less less flexible players like um for example like ons is like a hard hit scan player i wouldn't really trust him on not i, I wouldn't say i wouldn't trust him but like his tracer and his sombra are not like up to like high high standards so i put him on hard hit scan what i do you know is make the other person flex i have kevster or i had kevster so it's it's really easy to like you know, say, okay, I have a hard hit scan player, that's fine, we'll make comps around that. You guys can play McCree, McCree, Ryan, you know? Uh, and this guy can play May, he can play Tracer. There's a lot of options there, uh, just depending on what comp you guys play against. He can choose a better hero to, to compliment you. Okay. There are definitely um, ways I, around it, for sure. Sorry. Uh, I just kind of have a more general question and you might not have an answer to it which is fine um i know at the beginning of the session you were talking about like all the different comp archetypes you know your rush dive uh poke double shield all that um uh kind of an issue with us is uh we kind of lack flexibility to you know we have all these weird comps because you know hero pool gaps and everything um just kind of going forward um I, at least in my opinion, it'd be beneficial to sort of like focus on like one archetype, one comp in particular, yes. sort of like the other team was doing. What, in your opinion, is in, in general the best comp to try and work on that with? Uh, with your guys' uh, hero pool, it's going to be hard. I, I would I would say this is like one of the best comps to one trick, or Rush is one of the best comps to one trick. I would suggest uh, Ryan, Ryan Lucio for you guys, because you have like a hard hit scan player. This like accentuates his strengths. From what I can tell as well, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are more naturally a, a Ryan team rather than like I'm guessing like I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that's what you have most hours on as main tank. Is that, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that that's not super surprising. We we live in NA and in NA everyone plays <laughs> Ryan, uh, so it's probably like something that you guys have decent amount of practice against as well because of our region, like what you can get practice against in rank as well. 
uh, which is like important because you can't go through everything in practice and then like there's individual skill stuff. So uh, ranked, you, you'll see more situations of Ryan and ranked, especially at, at your guys' SR. So I would heavily suggest Ryan, which is what I was trying to teach. But uh, sometimes you might want to run Winston on some of these maps. But if you do run Winston, I would suggest running like um, a variation that uh like is more like uh sorry uh, a style that is more similar to rush that's why i've been trying to teach these all in the same bucket even though they're technically not there's a lot of nuances to why dive like this dive isn't quite like rush but you guys can play it the same way for now like it should get you like you know 80 percent, 90 percent of the way there all right thank you yeah uh, yeah, I also don't know your guys' hero pool strengths. I'm just, like, guessing based off what I'm seeing, based off what I know about NA. Uh, I'm guessing this person, like, is more of a Lucio player. This person's more of an Ana player. Uh, this person just, like, uh, flex. This guy mostly, like, mostly hit scan, and then mostly hit scan, but can flex. Uh, that was just my my guesses on, on what people can play. Yeah, you're pretty much right. Yeah, yeah basically. Not, not too hard for me to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, any other questions? That's all I, that was all I had. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I will say for comp, I... if things are working for you guys, like that is great. So like, I don't want to take if like some weird comp is work. I saw your guys Hollywood comp. I think it was awful, but like, <laughs> that's fine too. Like it's, sometimes surprises are good, and you guys just need to find like. But I would suggest like focusing on one one archetype basically. Uh, one type of uh, comp, and you can make variations within that, right? Like, if you're playing Ryan on most maps, and then on some maps you're playing Sim, sometimes you're playing Kree, sometimes you're playing Mei, sometimes you're playing Tracer, like, this is all fine. Like, the concept will be easier, and then, like, the core of your team will be able to, like, or you guys will have, like, some core, some, like, fundamentals to fall back on. Uh, it's easier to improve that way for, for your guys' level right now. Right. Okay, cool. Any any other questions? Life questions? College questions? No. Career advice? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. If you guys see Florida Mayhem, do me a favor. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever go to live events. If you guys do, tell Chris Mirror that he sucks. Tell Adam that he sucks. Okay? Got it. Chris and Adam. Yeah, I'll, gotcha. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh. Tell them it's from Deepay, or just don't tell them and just flame the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah, just 